Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son. Because the ultimate was not just the birth of Christ, but the exchange of life that he came to give us. And Father, we pray that every single day, may we see another dimension, another aspect, another realm of the life that comes from you. We thank you and we love you for it in Jesus' name. And somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody put your hands together for Jesus. You may take your seats. Christmas once again. Octakia Helia Christmas tena. Are you seated next to a neighbor who has got a smile? We've been told to put on a smile, put on a smile. Oh, they look very, very, very worried and sad. Okay. I just wanna Nataka. First time to the Marango Yakwanza to use an interpreter. Kutumia mtafsiri. So I, I I don't know how this is going to be. Kwa hivyo sijui hii itakuwaje. I don't know if this is how it's going to be 2020 or sijui kama hivi ndiye itakakuwa F2 na 20. Sasa when I'm prophesying you will also interpret. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Kilam, too. Mm. Okay. I just want to share something brief. And I pray that this will be something that you'll be able to remember. Please, I'm, I'm really trying to adjust to this. It's really, really new. You don't have to translate that. Yeah, thank you. Um, I pray that you will remember this. So I'm really going to do my best to just keep it short. So that I can just hammer you on one particular point. Next year there's next year <clears throat> next year there's there's going to be a lot of changes. You will see it. Utaona. There's a dimension of God that Personally, I want to see in my life. You see, and sometimes when we just think about the dimensions of God, we just think in terms of church. Simply because it's it's in a way it's a narrowed way kind of approach to God. It's, it's, it's very limited. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's also your first time. Yes, sir. Okay. It's your second time. First time. Your first time. Especially translating for me. Okay. Okay. May God give you grace. Seriously, I just want us to f- really have this 
even as we cross over to 2020 I don't want you to limit God to just the church things. When I talk about I desire to see these dimensions of God, it's, it's very easy for you to think maybe in the word, in prayer, in the prophetic, in healing. No. No. I want to take you back to Genesis. We are talking about the God who created everything. Everything. Remember when you went to school, you were trying to study the things that God has created. Geography has to do with what God created. Biology has got everything to do with what God created. Physics, you're trying to study that which God created. So to just limit God to just church, you are limiting the manifestation of God in your own life. Mm, because you need to have a desire to see God in these other dimensions because He is the one who created them. So don't just have a desire to see God in another dimension in your prayer life. No, that, that is good, but it is limiting. You've never found a verse in the Word of God that deals with transportation and logistics. Transportation and lo okay, I'm a Maliza. Okay. Transportation and logistics. Because you've never had that desire to see God in that dimension. Yes. yes. That's why you, you don't find scriptures in the word of God. Should I release you? Oh, you okay? Oh, it doesn't look good for the camera. <laughs> They say it don't look good. Don't worry, just sit there. It's a different service today. So, but they look very nice in a jacket. <laughs> We're on holidays. Somebody said there's the Christmas spirit. I don't know what spirit that is, but. Uh... <laughs> so, you've not found scriptures in the Word of God in relation to Forex. No, I said forex. Trading. 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 I can give you one right now. Where, where are the traders? Yeah. No, no, no. They're not. They're not. They're not. Where are the traders? I can give you right now. On all these things that you have that gives you like signs towards the market. What do you call them? Indicators. There's one that you call the morning star. Hmm? It's there in the Bible. I can break it down for you. You see, hear me, people of God, I'm not going to take long. You take confidence in your certificates. Mm -mm. You, 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 you take confidence. You, 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 most of you, you gain your confidence from your certificates. Yes, that's where your boldness comes because you, you got a 4.0 GPA in public speaking or something. Okay. But you fail to understand the people who taught you were also taught by another human being. 
na wao pia waliwe kufundishwa na mwanadamu mwingine and ultimately all of them were created by god na wote waliugwa na mungu and what you're trying to study was created by god na unachojaribu kujifunza kiliugwa na mungu why don't you go to the creator kwa nini usiende kwa mungu and not to the creation na sio kwa kilichoundwa and let the creator whisper to you secrets in that area kuumba akunongoneze you think god does not know about forex you think god does not know about business unafikiri mungu ajui kuhusiana na biashara he is a serious businessman that has ever been there and he has revelation in those areas but some of you have never tapped into those dimensions because simply you are confident of your IFM certificate ah, I, i don't know if i can talk to you banks did not start with men the first bank was found in the temple benki ya kwanza ilikutwa katika madhabahu ah, ah. ah. It's it's Christmas. Let me let, let's look for Mary and Jesus. But the, the the children's generation have done that. He's the author, ndio mwanzilishi of everything. Wa kila kitu. From transport and logistics, kutoka kwenye usafirishaji na uchukuzi to trading, kwenye ubadilishanaji wa fedha na biashara. I'm moved from forex. I'm saying trading, trading like trade biashara. commodities. Yes. He's a banker. Oh yes, he's a banker. God is a banker. And he's very strict about losses. Ah. I've lost you, sir. Okay, let me slow down then. Now, hey, these people are, I know what they're trying to do with this translator guy. I know what they're trying to do. You see, without the translator guy, I preach two hours. Listen to me. Most of you because of religion every time you open your bible. When you open your bible, God comes to you is the children of Israelites. Kinachokuja kwenye akili yako ni watoto wa Israeli. All things were made by him vitu vyote vilitengenezwa naye and through him na kupitia yeye and for him kwa ajili yake i don't know if i'm talking to someone here sidhani kama naongea na mtu so we only run to the bible because of prayer for revelation for prophecy for marriage issues ah, ah. na wengi tunakimbilia biblia kwa sababu ya maombi kwa ajili ya nabii ukulima huko mle yes god is the first farmer Mungu ni mkulima wa kwanza kabisa. But you see because you don't have that desire. Na ni kwa sababu hauna hiyo shauku to see the dimension of God in those areas. Kuona viwango vya Mungu katika maeneo hayo. He will never hai. reveal himself to you in those areas. Hawezi kujifunua katika maeneo hayo. Because there's no desire. Kwa sababu hakuna matamanio. Hello. 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 He's a miner. Ni mwanamadini. Yeah, he says gold and silver is mine. Kwa sababu anasema dhahabu na So how can he say that if he's not a miner? Anawezaje kusema dhahabu na fedha ni mali yake kama sio mwanamadini? 2020 mwaka 2020. May God give you 2020 vision. Mungu akupe maono ya mwaka To see other dimensions of God. Kuona viwango vipya vya Mungu. Okay. Ah, hear me now. Yes. Mm, I'm conscious of time. Last Sunday I taught you I taught you a little bit about gift and grace. Yes. And I told taught you that gifts are not limited to just singing and the musician and that industry or artists. Niliambia kwamba karama hazibaki tu kwenye uimbaji na mambo mengine. They are gifted people in different areas. Kuna watu wenye karama tofauti katika maeneo tofauti. And I was showing you how gift a gift is something very spiritual. Na nilikuwa nakuonyesha kwamba karama ni uh, ni kiroho zaidi. It is something very spiritual. Ni kitu ambacho ni cha kiroho zaidi. Okay? Now we even read a scripture that every good and perfect gifts come from who? 
Na pia tuliweza kusoma andiko linalosema kila aina ya karama nzuri imetoka kwa Mungu. Comes from whom he answered. Comes from whom? So if you're gifted in business, it's a gift from who? Na kama umebarikiwa karama ya biashara, imetoka kwa nani? If you're gifted in politics, kama umebarikiwa karama ya It's a siyasa. gift from who? Okay. Now, why would God gift you something that he does not know about? Kwa nini Mungu akupatie baraka ya karama fulani ambayo haijui yeye? He's not gifting you so that he can discover that area through you. Hakupatii hiyo karama ili aweze kuvumbua hiyo eneo kupitia wewe. Hapana. No. Hapana. It's just a very small portion ni eneo dogo sana that he has given to you ambalo amekupatia wewe that he's the author of and the creator of ambaye yeye ndio mwanzilishi na muumbaji wa hicho so it's, it's a very small it's like it's like a drop in the ocean ni kama dondoko la tone kwenye bahari if you were supposed to discover the whole ocean kama ungepata kuvumbua bahari yote you'd have to live more than a thousand years to discover the ocean just one ocean zaidi ya 1000 moja ku You think the tallest mountain is Everest? Unadhani mlima mrefu kuliko yote ni Everest? No, hapana. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain on land. Mount Everest ni mlima mrefu zaidi hapa kwenye ardhi. There are mountains that are taller than Everest under the seas. Kuna milima ambayo ni mirefu zaidi ya Everest chini ya bahari. Yes. You thought Niagara Falls was the biggest falls. Oh. Just yesterday we were watching this documentary. There are waterfalls under the seas. Kuna maporomoko ya maji chini ya bahari. Yes. Yes. So imagine your contribution of a drop of water into the ocean can be very insignificant. Fikiria kusanyiko lako la tone la maji kwenye bahari itakuwa halina faida yoyote. My brother rewind fikilia tone dogo tu la kwako la karama yako kwenye bahari halina faida yoyote it is very insignificant it is too small ndogo sana i was not talking about the gift i was talking about the drop you seem to be going ahead of me which is good <laughs> okay so imagine a drop of water in the ocean is very insignificant fikilia tone la maji dogo la maji kwenye kwenye bahari halina faida it's very insignificant sio kwamba haina faida but it is too small ni dogo sana kwa hivyo yes. haliongezi chochote e, ni, ni kama chembe chembe okay now the more we are doing this i'm feeling like impartation of now to flow in soil anyone doesn't understand english now your gift is equally the same kwa hivyo karama yako pia ni sawa sawa na hivyo in relation to god kulinganisha kwa mungu your gift is just a drop karama yako ni kama tone tu of what god possesses ya kile ambacho mungu anamiliki so when you, you think you are very gifted in transport and logistics kama pale unadhani umebarikiwa sana kwa karama ya it's just a drop of what god knows about transport tone and logistics sana kwenye maji mm-hmm. ambalo mungu anajua if you think you're gifted in the marketplace kama unadhani umebarikiwa kwenye maeneo ya biashara it's just a drop in relation to what god ni possesses. kama tone dogo sana katika kulinganisha so na mungu so anachomiliki wants to unveil and reveal to you kwa hiyo kuna mengi zaidi ambayo Mungu amekipenda kufunua kwako there has to be a desire turn to neighbor and tell them desire na matamanio turn to neighbor and tell them desire ngio kijilani yako mwa matamanio turn to neighbor and tell them desire tell tell them desire look for 2 3 4 5 people tell them desire 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 how did you translate desire matamanio no shauku shauku mm shauku It's not going to come by you just sitting there and praying. Haiwezi kuja tu kwa wewe kuketi hapo na kuomba. Proverbs 18 verse 1. Muhubili 18 mstari wa kwanza. The King the, the King James 18 mstari wa kwanza. The King James version, not the New King James. 
Yes. It says, through desire, a man having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. Kwa kupitia shauku. Mtu kujitenga na kuanza kutafuta. I can stop right there. It is through, not prayer. You're too spiritual. You're too spiritual. It does not come through prayer. It doesn't come through fasting. Let me tell you, when you want to draw spiritual things, you might think it comes through prayer. Mm, I can show you verses and verses and verses and verses. Because listen to me, the most powerful prayer it's not what you pray. The most powerful prayer is what you desire. And then through prayer, your now, desire is now communicated. So prayer becomes the, I'm sorry, prayer becomes the conduit to pass through desire. So an effective Kwa uh, kupitia yeah. Maombi na hiyo uh, shauku ndiyo inaovuta kile ambacho unakiombea. Mm. Things don't come because you've prayed. Mambo ya haji kwa sababu umeomba. Mm. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. The woman with the issue of blood never prayed to Mwana Jesus for healing. Ishi ya damu hakuomba ili ya pone. No. Hapana. What drew power from Jesus kilichovuta nguvu kutoka kwa Yesu. Was not prayer. Sio maombi. Listen. Which means you can have a desire that is stronger than prayer. Because when you pray, you are placing a request. Which means the one whom you are praying to has the option of whether to answer or not to answer. Because it's a prayer. Which means if the woman prayed to Jesus, there was a possibility of Jesus healing her or not healing her. But there is another dimension called desire that can at times even override prayer. Because Jesus was not planning to release virtue. But the desire of a road. The desire overridden, overrode, overriding, zote, future, present, past tense. It overrode the desire or the will of Christ. You're not hearing me. Prayer has to go somewhere because it's a request. And it has to be read. And then there's an issue of the one you're praying to whether he's going to answer or not answer. But this woman didn't pray for healing. She didn't ask for healing. She didn't fast for healing. She only had one thing called desire. And it did need permission. Mm. I'm saying desire did not need permission. Oh, maybe you want Christmas story, but this, this is what I feel in my spirit. I'm saying desire did not need permission. It drew by force. If we can understand desire, you're not supposed to be where you are today. I'm going to tell you the level of poverty you're experiencing is the lack of desire of YouTube. Wait. Christmas. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. How? I never knew this. Uh, we didn't know. Which you sing, nani, nani, na. And then, I wanna wish you a man. It's only just two days, two years ago. I, I, what, I don't want to let Let's stand up and sing that one because I don't think you're interested in this one. I'm saying, your level of poverty right now 
is a sure sign of the lack of desire of you to get out of I'm telling you. You see, hard work is not easy, but hard work becomes easy when it is backed by desire. You can only act for so long. So the fact that you're making it difficult for him, all you're trying to see is his desire. Uh, so you, you make it so difficult so that every kind of fakeness, every kind of playerish, playerism, every kind of... Ifanya iwe ngumu zaidi kwake ili uone kila maigizo na kila kitu kisicho harisi. I like that. I like that. I like that. Everything that is not halisi. I like that. Cannot cross a certain threshold. Because there's a certain threshold even praying becomes difficult if you have no desire. Hata kwenye kuomba inakuwa ngumu kama huna shauku. Is it 1 Corinthians chapter 12? Sio wa Korinto wa kwanza sula ya 12. This man is good. <laughs> ah, let me just say it here because I'm seeing you. There are things that God will never tell a prophet to tell you. And you will never hear the voice of God coming to you over these things. And most of you, I'm seeing you waiting for a prophecy. And you're here. I'm not prophesying. And some of you wait to hear the voice of God. But I'm going to tell you how God has already spoken to you before. Wengi wenu mnasubilia sauti ya Mungu yongee kuhusiana na jambo fulani kwenye maisha yako lakini haiko hivyo kuna mambo Mungu hawezi kuongea na prophet kukwambia I'm going to tell you even though I'm walking in the prophetic grace I never heard God speak anything about this beautiful lady here Naweza kukwambia japokuwa natembelea karama ya kinabii lakini sikuwahi kumsikia Mungu akiniambia kuhusiana na lebo I said prophetic grace I didn't say the gift of prophecy Neema ya unabii Yeah like I said, is it, is it, is it 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1? Pastor, what does it say? You, you go ahead. Now, concerning spiritual gifts. Concerning what? Spiritual gifts. Earthly. Spiritual. Earthly. Spiritual. Physical. Spiritual. Are we all reading that? Yeah. Are we all seeing that? Yeah. Concerning what? Spiritual. So it's not talking about gifts that are just gifts. He's talking about gifts that are what? Spiritual. They are what? Spiritual. And then what does he say? Brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. Oh. So I don't want you to be what? Ignorant. In what? Spiritual. Concerning what? Spiritual. Not gifts, but spiritual gifts. Yes. So he doesn't want you to be what? Ignorant. Which means he doesn't want you to suffer in that area because of lack of knowledge yes. concerning that. Kwa hivyo Mungu hataki uteseke kwenye ile eneo kwa sababu ya kukosa maarifa kuhusiana okay. na hilo. Uh-huh. You know that you were Gentiles. Uh-huh. Carried away by to these dumb idols. Uh-huh. However you were led. Okay. I hope I'm going to see what I want you to see. Okay. Therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the spirit of God calls Jesus accursed. Let's try verse 6. Ah, I've lost it. Is it verse 14? Chapter 14? Chapter 14 of the same 1 Corinthians. Ah, yes. Pursue love uh -huh. and desire spiritual gifts. So, chapter 12, he tells us that he doesn't want us to be ignorant of what? Of spiritual gifts and if you continue in chapter 12 he now starts telling you about the gifts that the Holy Spirit gives and he tells you that the gift these gifts which are gifts of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit gives to whom he so ever wants okay so it is it is not you to say what you want 
but it is the Holy Spirit who gives you these gifts. Sorry, I went ahead of you. I have to learn this. You can... Or we continue the, okay. It's not you who chooses. Uh-huh. So it is through the will of the Holy Spirit. He's the one who wills. He's the one who chooses. What you're supposed to get. Are we going together? But verse 14 he says, I want you to earnestly desire. Honestly desire, chapter 14. Honestly desire what? Spiritual gifts. Honestly desire what? Spiritual gifts. The KJV says, pursue love. That's the New King James. But the KJV says, and honestly desire. The King James Version, not the New King James. The King James Version says, and honestly desire. Honestly desire. Sula ya kuminane inasema ufuateni upendo na kutaka sana karama za rohoni. Na kutaka sana. Kutaka. Kutaka. Sana. Kutaka. 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 It sounds a bit vulgar. But think about this. Isn't this the gift that the Holy Spirit gives willingly? To whom he desires to give it to. But Paul tells you. Lakini even though it is a gift given to you it just doesn't come to you because it's a gift there has to be a desire so I want you come 2020 we've got a few more days left what desires do you have in what areas of your life. If I were you, I would list them down. And then I would use this time, not now, at your own time, to pray and tell the Holy Spirit, I'm asking you, fuel these desires. Fuel this desire. Yes. Inspire them, revive Chochea. them. Yes. These desires. Chochea. Because some of you, you might be praying that God is going to make you bold. When you're bold, the things that you can do that an average person cannot do. Boldness gives you the ability to do things that ordinary people can't do. And some of you, because of your temperament, you may not really get that boldness that you're looking for. But I'm giving you a secret today. <laughs> There's a boldness that doesn't come from you praying for boldness. There's a boldness that comes because there's a desire. So your boldness is backed by desire. And because of that desire, you become unstoppable. Listen to me. The woman with the issue of blood, nobody was going to stop her. You didn't hear what I just said. Jesus was surrounded by a crowd of men. Jesus was surrounded by a multitude of men. The culture then 
utamaduni wakati huo women never mingled with men wanawake walikuwa wajichangani ama wachangamani na wanaume that's why when even when jesus made the miracle of the loaves of bread na ndio maana hata yesu alipofanya muujiza wa mikate it's only the men that were counted ni wanaume pekee tu ndio waliohesabiwa na sio wanawake not just once sio mara moja it happened twice imetokea mara mbili and the women were not counted na wanawake hawakuhesabiwa so i want you to think about this nataka ufikirie as a woman you were not supposed to be found in the midst of men kama mwanamke ukutakiwa kukutwa kwenye kusanyiko la wanaume number 1 moja number 2 number 2 you have an issue of blood una issue ya damu you already an outcast una tatizo la daktari wewe hautakiwi kwa any one any woman kwa sababu mwanamke yeyote during that time of the month wakati huo she was an outcast alikuwa anatengwa an outcast yes alikuwa anatengwa so number 1 kwa hivyo namba moja you're a woman wewe ni mwanamke namba 2 namba 2 do you know how outcast was supposed to say if they're supposed to come into the city they're supposed to come with a bell unajua wale watu waliotengwa walivyotakiwa kuja kwenye mji walitakiwa kusema wanakuja na kengele and you're saying unclean 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 and now wakipiga kelele wakisema si msafi si msafi yes because anyone who would touch you kwa sababu mtu yote atakayekugusa would also become unclean na yeye pia atakuwa si msafi and for seven days you're supposed to be outside of the city na kwa siku saba inatakiwa uwe nje seven days so number one, she's a woman kwa namba moja ni mwanamke number two, she's unclean namba mbili, si mtu safi number three, jesus is surrounded by men namba tatu, yesu amezungukwa na wanaume not just his disciples na sio tu wanafunzi wake but men who are trying to see jesus lakini pia wanaume ambao walikuwa wanajaribu kumwona number four, namba nne, he's not standing asimami the crowd is moving with him kusanyiko linatembea pamoja naye do you remember my number one? unakumbuka I'm Mama just checking whether you're here or you're with the pilau back home. Are you here? Yes. Number one, she's what? She's a woman. Number two. Number bili. Huh? Number three. Jesus surrounded by men. Number four. Look at all those obstacles. Tizama vikwazo vyote hivyo. And you people, you wanted to come to you while you are lying on the bed na wewe unataka ije kwako wakati umepumzika nyimbo ya kufanya chakula you feel song worship umeweka nyimbo ya kuabudu and you're saying lord as i meditate on you na ukisema mungu ninapokutafakari wewe reveal to me your way tafadhali funua njia zako while you are on the bed wakati ukiwa umepumzika kwenye kitanda chako there are people who are chasing things kuna watu wanaokimbizia mambo while you are waiting for a revelation wakati ukisubiria ufunuo there are people who are pushing kuna watu ambao wanasukuma vitu because that's what she had to do kwa sababu hicho ndio ambacho alichotaka you think should have gone and said excuse me sir i want to get to jesus excuse me sir good sir please allow me to hakuwa mtu wa kuomba watu wampishe i said four yes oh the fifth one number 10 already just biologically speaking tayali ki biologia she is a weaker vessel tayali ni dhaifu but where did she get the strength lakini alipata wapi ujasiri huo get out of the city wa kutoka nje mji as an outcast kama mtu aliyetengwa into the city kuingia ndani ya mji where did she get that boldness alitoa wapi ujasiri wa namna hiyo where did she get the strength alitoa wapi nguvu ya namna hiyo to push wa kusukuma shove it's still the same kusukuma push kusukuma shove kusukuma mhm strong men wanaume wenye nguvu I'm getting to that please Remember she's had an issue of the blood Kumbuka ana tatizo la damu for 12 years kwa miaka 12 It's not just an anamin anemic problem It's not just an anemic problem sio tu tatizo la kukosa damu She has no blood literally ana damu kabisa 12 years continuous miaka 12 kiendelea I don't know if they had methods of blood transfusion here she, we are, you've come doctors are asking us to go and donate blood I'm wondering who 
was she going to ask because number one you're unclean so who do you approach to ask to donate your blood so already biologically apart from just her being a woman she's physically weak but her disease made her even much more weaker I think I'm not talking to the right people because it looks like I'm, you want a Christmas story so the, 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 the wise men when they saw the star in the east where do you get that strength to push and show not what men and they're not stand still no, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen an, a scene of an accident? And then people are gathered around. Do you know how difficult it is to just penetrate through people who are standing still? How much more? A moving crowd. So there's a strength can, that can be brought about by desire. There is a boldness that can be brought about by desire. There is an ability to dare to do the impossible that doesn't come from prayer but comes from desire. Turn to and tell them Mary desire. Yeah. Merry Christmas and Merry Desire. Tell them I wish you a Merry Christmas. A Merry Desire. A Happy New Year. And a Desirous 2020. Not prosperous. Uh uh. You can't prosper if you don't have the desire to prosper. Let me tell you, hear it from me. And I'm going to tell you something that's going to shock you. As much as Jesus could heal everyone, he didn't heal everyone. You know why? Even before Jesus could minister healing to someone, you might think he was looking for faith. Not everyone had faith. Because faith comes by hearing. And some did not hear about Jesus the healer. But you don't have to hear to have desire. You may need to hear to have faith. Am I, am I, am I, am I talking to the right people? I said you may need to hear to have faith. You may need to Unahitaji kusikia ili uwe na imani. You may need to hear to have faith. Unaweza ukahitaji kusikia ili uwe na imani. But you don't need to hear to have desire. Lakini unahitaji kusikia ili uwe na shauku. One of just the shortest way for you to have desire. Moja kati ya njia fupi zaidi kwa wewe kuwa na shauku. You just need to get to a place where you say enough is enough. Inabidi ufike sehemu useme imetosha. You don't need anyone to preach to you. Mm -hmm. If someone preaches to you, that is not desire, that is faith. You want to go home. I'm about to release you. I'm saying this thing that I'm telling you, desire, is going to separate some of you. We will see such a big gap even within this ministry. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. There is going to be a big gap come next year. Between those who are waiting for the Lord to do it. Yes, I understand those who wait upon the Lord. But remember when he says those who wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. You have strength and you're waiting on the Lord. You didn't get it. Because those who wait upon the Lord, it's not now the qualification that now it's the principle to wait on the Lord. Uh -uh. Because he goes on further to tell you why you need to wait. It's because these ones have lost their strength. That's why they're waiting on God. That's why it starts by saying, and he will renew their strength. Which means they had strength that brought
brought them to that point and they no longer have strength to go on so in order for you to go on you need to wait but that's not a principle for all of you because I'm looking at some of you here you have strength but you're still waiting on the Lord the Lord will not come to you because you have strength he comes to those who don't have that strength I know it's a Christmas service, so let me keep it Christmas. <laughs> and you can wait even for five years. And the Lord is never going to answer you. Because that scripture belongs to those who don't have strength. Now think about this. How much strength do you need for a desire? You think people who are broke have strength? I said people who are broke. What people maskini. in serious poverty. Do you think they have strength? To get out of their poverty. They may not have the financial strength. Uh, you didn't hear me. They may not have the financial strength to get out of the poverty. And mostly that's the case. They don't have the financial strength to get out of poverty. Because number one, it can also mean that they don't have the mental strength to get out of poverty. But there's something that you can have that can override your financial limitations. And it's called desire. That I've had enough of this poverty. I've had enough of this problem. I've had enough of this addiction. I have seen people who have left addiction not because they've been delivered but they just had a desire that enough is enough and by that desire they starved the demon who was keeping them addicted you didn't hear me and the demon had nothing else to feed on because they was like I can't keep on doing this and I've seen people who abuse deliverance because they know there will always be a deliverance service you didn't hear me there will be a deliverance service so it's okay I'll be delivered nah, 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 nah. you don't become wealthy by dreaming you don't become prosperous by wishing how many times have we wished you are happy and prosperous. Let's talk about this. I said, how many times have you? Kwanza two happen just today. You're go, we're going to finish. I wish you. I'm a, sorry, I'm off key. It's okay. I'm not gifted, but I have a desire. We've wished you so many times. A happy new and a prosperous. Kwanzia 19, 19, mm. and you know what? The year came with the prosperity, but it never met the desire with the individual. So it crossed over with that prosperity to the next year. <laughs> Touch two, three people, tell them desire. Desire is stronger than what you think. So as I bring this to a close, I translate that. Wakati niki elekia kumaliza. Yeah, so kufunga. Through desire. A man having separated himself. So even the strength to separate yourself 
kwa hivyo hata nguvu za kujitenga cannot come through prayer haiji kupitia maombi your desire your strength to separate yourself from poverty nguvu yako ya kujitoa kwenye umaskini doesn't come from fasting 40 days and 40 nights your strength to separate yourself from your best friend nguvu ya kujitenga kutoka of 20 years doesn't come through prayer and fasting i, I don't know who i'm talking to this morning even your ability to separate yourself from your boyfriend no sisters are saying amen uh, no one is going to say amen there because how nani mwingine who's going to marry me look at my biological clock you know i can change him no 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 uh, let me move away from that the song used to sing na 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 bye bye mm. i just know bye bye i hope you are listening to what i'm teaching and you're not just atumai unasikiliza ninachokufundisha hapa separation is not easy take it from me sio rahisi When God is telling Abraham get out of your country. Wakati Mungu akimwambia Abraham toka kwenye nchi yako. Miaka 75. In that place. Kwenye hilo eneo. All you know is your father, yote anayajua ni baba yake na kaka zake. And you know nothing else. Na hajui chochote. And God tells you. Na Mungu anamwambia get out. Toka. Nyinyi mnasomanga tu kwenye Biblia mnafikiri ni rahisi. Tatizo leo mnasoma tu kwenye Biblia. Hapa najua kuna wengi mlikuwa mnaomba kabisa mnaomba Mungu. Mungu Dodoma siendi. Naomba uhamisho. Yes, you're here. Just moving from here to Dodoma is a problem. Then you want to be the father of faith. At least you know Dodoma. You know Dodoma. And if you're missing HOB so much you can get on a bus and get here within four hours. Mhm. And you think it's easy. I'm not going to preach this but you've heard me. I told her I said we're going to see some men of God. If they say no, bye bye. That desire, it's not that I didn't love her. I was deeply madly in love with her because six years of being single and then you find such a but my desire to please god lakini shauku yangu ya kum had to be above my emotions above my feelings izidi hisia zangu above my wants izidi ninachokitaka abraham had a powerful desire abraham alikuwa na shauku ya kumsa the book of hebrews ndio maana kitabu cha Hebrewia he says he didn't even build houses hata hakujenga nyumba he lived in tents aliishi kwenye mahema how can a man with gold and silver and an army na lipi mwanaume mwenye nguvu dhahabu na mali akaishi kwenye mahema it's because he had a desire kwa sababu alikuwa na shauku looking for a city akitafuta mji looking for a city akitafuta mji Imagine this man is looking for a city. Tafakali huyu mtu anatafuta mji. But he's living in tents. Lakini anaishi kwenye mahema. If he can have the vision of looking for a city. Kama anaweza kawa na maono ya kutafuta mji. He had the wealth to build mansions. Alikuwa na utajiri wa kujenga majumba. And build real estate. <laughs> But he's living in tents. Lakini anaishi kwenye mahema. You better marry the right woman. Heli uoe mwanamke sahihi. You didn't hear me. Because it's not easy for a woman to stay with a man who's wealthy. Kwa sababu sio rahisi kwa mwanamke kuishi na mwanaume ambaye ni tajiri. And you're living in a tent. Na bado unaishi kwenye hema. And you know where the gold and the silver is. Na unajua dhahabu. And you have an army. 
and you have an army you are a nation by yourself because kings are coming to you not just one king not just two kings four kings came to Abraham so that he can go to war with him so Abraham was not just a normal person he was a king by right because kings recognized him as a king so he had a kingdom he had a kingdom but he's living in tents simply because of a desire forsaking the luxury of being in a comfortable place is this H.O.B.? don't joke with desire People have moved mountains not having Jesus with them. What to me misha milima sio kuwa na Yesu ndani yao hapana. But having desires. Lakini kuwa na shauku. People never fasted for 5 years. What to kwa kufunga kwa miaka mitano. But within 5 years their story changed. Lakini ndani ya miaka mitano because they had a desire. Kwa sababu walikuwa na shauku. And you see what makes you not even appreciate the small beginning? Unajua kitu kinachokufanya usifurahie hata uanzo mdogo is because you have no desire. Kwa sababu hauna shauku. That's a vision. Na hiyo ni maono. You didn't hear me. It's a vision. Hiyo ni maono. Remember he said write the vision down and make it plain. Yeah. So that who can read it can run with it. Yeah. No. He's saying that people who have the desire to fulfill the vision are the ones who are going to run with it. Watu wenye shauku ya ku The vision will maono. never make you run with it. The vision by itself won't make you run with it. Maono pekee hawezi kufanya ukimbie pamoja nayo. Okay, I said I'm closing. Nisimama na maneno. So you don't wait for a revelation. Usisubiri mafunuo. No. Hapana. Ask the Holy Spirit. Muombe Roho Mtakatifu. Please pinpoint in my life. Nionyeshe kwenye maisha yangu. Even the smallest of desires. Hata shauku ndogo kabisa. Because God said be fruitful ufanikiwe be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful you did it with chosen generation be fruitful and multiply be fruitful uzae and multiply na ongezeke and we are made in the image and the likeness of god na tumetengenezwa ama tumeumbwa katika mfano wa mungu which means ambayo inamaanisha even a small desire hata shauku ndogo kabisa can multiply inaweza ikaongezeka so i'm asking you for the remaining few days towards 2020 i don't care how small that desire is si sijali kama hata kama hiyo shauku ni ndogo because can i tell you something nikwambie it's not always you will hear the voice of the lord saying my son my son my son hear the voice no 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 Sometimes and many a times God has already communicated to you through a desire. Nyakati nyingi Mungu amekushasema pamoja na wewe kupitia shauku aliyokupa. Desire, shauku is an alternative voice of God. Ni njia nyingine ya sauti ya Mungu. Yes. Perfect. Yes. That's why. Ndio maana even though the gifts are from the holy spirit you are told to desire now hear me do you know why some people are operating in that gift better than others na unajua kwa nini watu wengine wanatenda vyema kwenye hiyo karama kuliko wengine is because they were sensitive enough to understand the desire for that gift walikuwa makini zaidi kuelewa shauku ya hiyo karama was actually from the holy spirit kwamba ilitoka kwa roho mtakatifu so they never doubted the desire to prophesy kwa hivyo hakuwe hakuwahi kutia shaka they never doubted the desire to heal the sick au kuweza kutia shaka kuponya wagonjwa ama kutabii that desire na kwa hiyo shauku they didn't even have to pray so much like you hawakuhitaji kuomba sana kama wewe the holy spirit so that they un- that they were understanding his way of communicating to them without him coming to say i want to give you this uh-uh. 
Say this with me, Holy Spirit. Sema hivi pamoja nami. Roho Mtakatifu. Ignite. Amsha. Ignite. Godly desires. God desires. Divine desires. Divine desires. Divine desires. Inside of me. Inside of me. Revive them. Revive them. Even those. Even those. That are now dying. That are now dying. You have the ability. You have the ability. To resurrect them. To resurrect them. I ask you. I ask you with an earnest desire with an earnest desire willingly willingly knowingly knowingly resurrect resurrect every dying desire every dying desire within me within me. come 2020 come 2020 i want to manifest i want to manifest this godly desires this godly desire because now i know because now I know these were also your ways also your way of speaking to me of speaking to me, communicating with me communicating with me these these were also part were also part of your plan of your plan that you have that you have for me for me 2020 2020 I make up my mind 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 I am making a decision I'm making a decision that I will work that I will work on every godly desire on every godly desire that God has placed inside of me that God has placed inside of me desires desires I'm speaking to you now I'm speaking to you now hear the voice hear the voice of the one that has been given of the one that has been those given desires. those desires you will not stop speaking to me you will not stop speaking you will not to stop me. disturbing me you will not stop disturbing you will not stop nagging me you will not stop nagging me i decree over you i decree over you that your voice that your voice shall become louder shall become louder and louder and louder and louder and louder and louder and louder with every day with every day with every day with every day of 2020 of 2020 in the name of jesus in the name of jesus this is my earnest desire this is my earnest desire to fulfill to fulfill and manifest and manifest the perfect will of god the perfect will of god for my life for my life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and somebody shout hallelujah and somebody Ah, somebody shout hallelujah. Some of you, you might need to make some drastic decisions. Because I'm going to tell you something. If it's a godly desire, hear me. If you forget everything, don't forget this one. If it's a godly desire, and when we say godly desire, we're not talking about prophesying. Eh? Because even making money is a godly desire, by yes. the way. Yes. 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 If gold and silver is mine, says the Lord. It is the will of God. Yes. Okay. So here am I. I'm, I'm saying this as my last statement. Hear me. If it's a godly desire, it will never take you out of the will of God. So you may you may not found you may not have found a scripture to back up your desire. Yes. You may not have a dream of the angel of the Lord coming to you and telling you that this is the right way. Uh -uh. Just have the confidence. I said, just have the confidence and the boldness to know 
there is no way ya kwamba hakuna uwezekano God could have given me this desire if it was not God kama sio ya kiungu So the very fact this desire is in me kwa kuwa hii shauku iko ndani yangu This is God himself huyu ni Mungu mwenyewe 100% Yes. Yamani, yeah, this is serious deliverance I've given you today. Huni. Yes. Cuz some some of you I'm seeing you fasting and praying. But God is not going to answer. Lakini Mungu hawezi kwenda kujibu. And he's saying I already answered you. Na anasema nimekwisha kujibu. And you don't know how. Na hujui kwa namna Because you are waiting for a booming loud voice. Kwa sababu unasubiria sauti kubwa hizo. But God is telling you. Lakini Mungu anakwambia. I answered you. Tayari nimekujibu. I gave you the desire. Nimekupa shauku. That was my voice. Hiyo ilikuwa ni sauti yangu. Sometimes. Wakati mwingine. This is a secret of 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 the prophetic. Hii ni siri ya kinabii. I'm going to tell you something that is going to shock some of you. There are times when I'm praying and the Lord will minister to me. Kuna wakati ninapokuwa naomba na Mungu atazungumza nani. And I even know who to start. Na najua nani nianze naye. And how to start. Na namna ya kuanza. But there are times where lakini kuna wakati ambapo I'm just drawn to you. Navutwa tu. And I have no word for you. Na sina neno kwako but there's a desire in you that lakini kuna shauku ndani yako give makes god to give me a word ambayo inamfanya mungu anipe neno kwa ajili yako listen sikiliza you want to draw spiritual things unataka kuvuta vitu vya rohoni you don't pray awombi you desire unakuwa na shauku you want to draw spiritual things unataka kuvuta vitu vya rohoni you don't fast haufungi fasting kufunga is a by product ni mazao of desire ya shauku yes because of the desire now kwa sababu ya shauku sasa that's why you can fast 40 days na ndio maana sasa unaweza ukafunga siku because of the desire now kwa sababu ya shauku that's why you can pray for 6 hours unaweza ukaomba saa sita you just try to pray without desiring to pray jaribu kuomba bila kuwa na shauku after 10 minutes baada ya dakika 10 you say lord you know my heart utaanza kumwambia mungu unajua moyo wangu but when there is a desire lakini kuna pokuwa na shauku you don't even know where words are coming from utojua hata maneno yanatoka wapi By the time you're speaking in tongues you finish 2 hours. And desire is drawing vocabularies. Lakini that you have no idea where they're coming from. You're not even quoting the Bible. You're not even quoting the Bible. Something called desire. I don't know if I'm talking to someone. Did I talk to someone? Was this a message that you needed to hear? Are you sure? Are you sure? So please tonight tonight even as you're going home ask the holy spirit unapondoka leo muulize roho mtakatifu Can you bring these desires into remembrance? Unaweza ukaleta hizi shauku tena niweze kukumbuka usiku wa leo Write them down ziandike tena And then every night before you sleep na baada hapo kila usiku kabla ya Hold them in front of you zishike mbele yako and say holy spirit na usembe roho mtakatifu help me fulfill these desires nisaidie nizitimize shauku hizi Let them keep on talking Let them keep on talking wacha ziendelee kuzungumza nami Let them keep on speaking wacha ziendelee kuzungumza nami Don't allow them to go down Usiruhusu zidondoke. You're telling the Holy Spirit. Mwambie Roho Mtakatifu. And if I was crazy enough like I am, na kama ni chizi kama mimi, <laughs> I would also tell the desires. Na pia nitaambia shauku. You will not stop talking. Hauto acha kuzungumza. You were given to me. Ulipewa kwangu. You have to listen to me. Inabidi unisikize. I'm a custodian of you. Mimi ndio mmiliki wako. I don't know if I'm talking to someone. And this is something that every one of you can do na hiki ni kitu ambacho kila mmoja wenu hapa anaweza because some of you think you're not spiritual enough to hear from god kwa sababu wengi mnadhani sio wa rohoni sana kumsikia mungu breaking news habari za ipunde you are already spiritual if you have desire ni wa rohoni kama una shauku yes Those who are married Those who are married wale ambao mmeolewa anakuoa sit down with your wife kaa chini na mkeo ask her muulize what desires do you have my darling wife una shauku za namna gani mke wangu mpenzi and as a husband listen to her na kama mme msikilize mkeo and then tell her okay i also have these desires na wewe pia mwambie na mimi nina shauku hizi and then as a family list them down 
na kama familia mziandike chini mimi nawaambieni you switch i tell you eh, eh, kwamba that these new year's resolution malengo haya ya mwaka mpya they don't last haya hayadumu because it's not a desire kwa sababu sio shauku it's not sio shauku it's not sio shauku but when you have a desire lakini unapokuwa na shauku and then umemshirikisha your helper na ukams mwambia msaidizi wako and then you as a family na nyinyi kama familia even those who by the if i was crazy enough like i am mhm go on na kama ungekuwa chizi kama mimi i would also sit na mimi ningeketi even though i'm not married japokuwa sijaoa and say future husband na kasema yes yes say future husband future wife wherever you are these are my desires and see if next year the man who is going to support you ayo with those desires will not come already you've eliminated the wrong men and the wrong women because you've already decreed in the spirit you as a person the godly desires so already when a man is coming to you he will turn away not because you suffer from the spirit of rejection he will not turn away because you are suffering from the spirit of rejection as he comes close to you the desires that you've decreed will start communicating before he even says hello i've told you a big secret so don't say that this is just for the married people no as a single person tonight sit down say my future husband today if i were you i would sit here and put a seat on the other side and say future husband future wife and on the table i don't have only my plate I don't only have my plate. I don't only have my plate and my spoon and my fork. Yes, I've also set a plate for you. Ah, he calls those things that are not as though they are. Yes. I'm I don't know what song that is but that's beautiful. Listen to me. I know that I, I, I just want to encourage you. There are things I never prayed concerning my wife. Yes, as spiritual as I am. Yes, as spiritual as I am. I never prayed certain things over my wife. But I desired that she should have this. And believe you me, every desire that I desired without even praying, she has them. Nakwambia Let's not be little desire. You want I know last Sunday we were anointed for greatness. Nafahamu Jumapili iliyopita tuli pako mafuta kwa mambo makubwa. The speed is going to be different. The speed is going to be different. Kasi itakuwa ya tofauti sana. Yet it is the same anointing. Hiyo ndio pako Ah, I'm saying the speed is going to be different. Kasi itakuwa ya tofauti sana. Yet it is the same anointing. Japokuwa ni upako ule ule. Anointed by the same man of God. And, and what is going to differentiate all of us not to be at the same level is not the anointing because even Saul was anointed by the same oil David was anointed by the same man who anointed David but somehow they would say Saul has killed 1000 but David has killed 10000 but they were both anointed by the same prophet with the same oil the results were different Saul went to war because he needed to go to war as a king but david but david but david but david it wasn't just the anointing 
haikuwa tu mafuta there was something extra called desire i don't know if i've spoken to someone i don't know if i've spoken to someone so make sure tonight don't sleep usilale write down andika write down andika i don't care whether it was a desire that you had when you were 9 years old sijali hata kama ni shauku ulikuwa nayo ukiwa na miaka 9 ah ah hapana it was god ilikuwa ni mungu who placed it ambaye ameiweka so it's not an issue that it is now i'm too old na sio kwamba issue kwamba sasa hivi nimekuwa mtu mzima sana because david also said i was once young lakini kwa sababu hata daudi alisema and now i am old dogo na sasa nimekuwa but i've never seen the righteous forsaken lakini sijawe kuona mwenye haki yake the will of god prevails over every circumstance the will of god prevails over every circumstance matako ya mungu ushinda kila aina ya so i want you to lift up your hands and i want you to communicate to god before i pray over you come on somebody we are talking about desire let your desires be known mantala shede zalaba de shede kata 2020 is not going to be a normal year zidebo karane sotokata lede kata shede kota luprede sotokata laba kota laba shede daba ndalaba soto you might think it's crazy sota but desire is supernatural zide shede kola prada kata come on somebody communicate your desire zide communicate your desire rida mantalaba koto liprada soto lobo soto litalaba kete zedebo radaba koto liprada soto leprada talaba katalaba shete kata rede lift up your voice lift up your voice lift up your voice liprada koto ritalaba kete make your desires be known radaba koto ritalaba ko shede in the name of Jesus I speak life to every desire I receive that you gave to your children I receive even those that you gave to them at a very tender age yes, I speak life to every dying desire and even the desires that have died i receive let them be resurrected by the power of the holy spirit i receive no matter how much it may seem ridiculous 
in the minds of men. It is ridiculous when you look at it with the eyes of logic. But that's why desires are spiritual. Father, let the Holy Spirit like a mighty rushing wind invade them right now and revive and breathe new life to these desires. Regardless of your present circumstance, regardless of your present situation, regardless of your geographical location, regardless of your age, regardless of your background, regardless of your level of education, anything external has no influence over desire. Because I see the prophet of God standing over a valley of dry bones. And the Lord speaking to the prophet and asking him, son of man, can these bones live? These desires will live again. Yes. Breathe into every person under the sound and the influence of my voice. Let this desire resurrect. Let these desires be full of life. Let this desire bring with them boldness. Bring with them strength. Bring with them audacity. Bring with them the daring spirit. Them the fighting spirit come 2020, they will step out of their comfort zone, they will step out into the unknown, they will face giants, they will move mountains, they will fill every valley, they will overcome every obstacle simply because desire has been revived, desire has been renewed, desire has been resurrected. May this desire to every dying vision. May these desires give life to every dying dream in the mighty name of Jesus. Twenty twenty, you will do the impossible because there is an insatiable godly desire that God is reviving today. You will overturn cities. I receive. Overturn systems. I receive. <laughs> I said you will overturn cities. I receive. Overturn systems. I receive. Change policies. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. recover lost ground. I receive. Go into uncharted territories. I receive. Bring down kings and dominions and principalities. I receive. Kill giants. I receive. Move mountains. I receive. Because God is empowering you today. I receive. Hear the word of the Lord. 2020 is your year of greatness. I receive. As I look to you right now, I'm seeing people who are going to change the story of their lineages. Yes change the story your children shall call you blessed I receive I said your children shall call you blessed I receive I pray that you will never ever 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 go lower than this today I receive in the name of Jesus I receive it.
come 2020, it will be victory after victory after victory I receive after victory it. I receive after victory it. I receive after victory I receive after victory I receive come 2020 you will conquer and conquer and I conquer receive. and conquer I receive and conquer I receive you will take over territories I receive you will dominate in uncharted territories I receive you will not just invent but create. I receive. You are blessed to become a blessing. I receive. In the name of Jesus and somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it's for Jesus, you can do much better than that. Somebody celebrate Jesus in this place. Ah, oh, come on, you can do better than that for Jesus. I'm expecting from this ministry come 2020 there will be no one no one please look at your neighbor oh, okay as they're coming to the altar but hear me there'll be no one who's going to say I've got nothing to do ah. <laughs> okay maybe I need to say that again I'm saying in this ministry there will be no one who's going to say, I've got nothing to do. Oh, because yes. Because if you say, I've got nothing to do, it means that you have no desire. Desires are not there for you to desire. Desires are there to be worked out. Okay? So 2020, I'm looking at the most busiest people on earth. Oh, yes. Hey, not many amens there. I'm looking at the most busiest people in this city. Amen. Come 2020. Amen. Uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. And be gracious to you. Amen. May you have a Merry Christmas. Amen. And a happy. And a happy. Desire us. Desire us what? 2020. So turn to your neighbor and tell them Merry Christmas. And a happy? A happy, desirous 2020. Please turn to three, four, five people and just tell them Merry Christmas. 